Hi. Okay, it's Easter week and uh, we're all going to have lots of candy around our house this coming uh, weekend and this week leading up to Easter and afterwards. So we're going to talk uh, chocolate and we're going to talk dessert that's healthy and a good smart choice for you. So if you do the rainbow containers from the 21 day fix, three of our little cookies are going to be one of our rainbow containers because they're protein. Okay, or one of our red. All right, so um, I've got the ingredients. We're going to keep it really simple. Hopefully it goes well because we're only going to do one take and um, We've got a cup of all-natural peanut butter organic peanut butter or you can use almond butter. Okay You've got a half of a cup of honey. I use my local honey. So that's always what we suggest Sometimes I add agave or I also add like maple syrup because I don't have agave to make it a little bit um, Not quite so thick and then you're gonna cup have a cup of quick oats I use gluten-free because I am gluten-free. And you can throw in whatever you want. You can throw in dried cranberries, you can throw in extra chocolate chips, uh, whatever works for you. And then our secret ingredient is vegan chocolate shakeology, or you can do it with your vanilla shakeology, or you can do it with chocolate shakeology. Whatever you want, we're not picky, okay? So let's pour, or not pour, I'm going to put the peanut butter in our bowl. If you don't like messy hands, this is definitely not a cookie that you would want to make. These are more like, I call them our Shakeology balls, and uh, they're no bake, so you're gonna, they're gonna be ready to, to go right away. You can, I store ours in our refrigerator, and uh, hopefully they last us more than two days. So yeah, that's always a challenge. As far as everyone in our family loves these, even the little kids do, okay? So this is like a winning healthy snack for all of us for our holidays. And since I am gluten-free, this is what I bring to all of our gatherings because that way I know that I will have something chocolate. I won't be grouchy because everybody else is eating good stuff and I don't get to. So this is my solution to it, okay? Do you want me to add chocolate chips, Tim? Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. I had a feeling. All right, so there's that. Then I'll take this. Hopefully this won't take too long because I want to show you the finished product. This should make approximately 22 to 24 of the little Shakeology chocolate balls. And again, usually I have agave on hand and so that makes it mm, a little bit not quite so dry. So I'm going to actually add a little bit of maple syrup. A little moisture. You could also add some water if you want to. Obviously, I'm just kind of a pour and go type of girl. I did actually measure, so that's a good thing. Usually I use my hands, and I might end up doing that. At the very end here. the best there we go see awesome now we're getting somewhere so basically you mix these all up and you make a little ball don't want to make them too big I count mine 